Howdy, all of you delicious people. Howdy, everybody. Howdy, de de de. Howdy, everyone. Uh, I have a roster update. I have a roster update today. Um, if anything, people might be expecting for me uh, to be playing the Star Lord event, and realistically, I had already. Uh, played it, and I've gotten to as far as I can go. And I know some people might be thinking, it's like, Oh, we got to miss out on this. Like, here's the thing. I already knew that I wasn't going to be able to get very far in this event. So, realistically, me playing it off to the side was realistically just because... I didn't want to waste time <laughs> knowing that I'd probably have to play this event whenever the heck next time it comes out. The next time it'll come out, more than likely I might be ready uh, for this event the next time it comes out. Realistically, this event, I would have absolutely smoked out of the water <laughs> had it not been... Tied to the fact that you had to get stars for these characters. How many more things can I not play in this game? Can we add up the total of time that I have completely not been able to play this game? Because of a stupid rule. This is hilarious to me. How I could have smoked this entire event because I was doing really well i hadn't lost one character uh going up until this event none of my characters died and what have you i would have smoked this event had i been able to play all the way through it realistically the only thing that mattered was character shards which i could not get because they were ridiculously hard to grind to whose fault is that not mine, it's the freaking game that d decides one out of five pulls, zero out of five pulls, two out of five pulls to give you character shards, which makes it way longer than it should be to grind for an event. Freaking a week is not long enough <laughs> to be able to have prep time for an event. But now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's also get this out of the way. Let's go with roster updates. Let's go with roster updates. I, I, I am, I am seething. I, I'm seething. Uh, I am, I am just really at my end <laughs> with this. Um, and like, I should just be just like contempt. But I am just really, really just, yeah, I am, I am, I am, I am to the brim of uh, where we could begin here. Um, on one note, I have unlocked Mantis. Uh, I know a lot of people are thinking it's like, well, it's a week before you get 15 shards. What happened? Uh, I unlocked a premium orb. I was hoping uh, to actually honestly get Groot shards because I was five um, shards away from unlocking, and I'll show you that here. Um, because I had spent, excuse me, I had spent a boatload of um, power cores trying to get Groot um, unlocked. Uh, because I felt that Groot was going to be something that I could substantially use uh, for this Star-Lord event. Uh, because looking at how much time was left um, to get to Star-Lord, I was like, Oh man, I should probably get Groot. Groot will be a big asset just for that event. Um, and instead, I ended up getting the exact number needed, uh, 15 shards to be able to unlock Mantis. A character I did not care about but adamantly having to know that this event is going on I had to buff her up anyways 
because I needed as many Ravenger or Guardians characters as possible, and realistically, even when I do get those 15 extra shards, um, it's not going to get me any closer to ranking this character up. To get this character before the login uh, thing, adamantly right next to her is Loki. You know what? If I could have gotten Loki <laughs> a week before um, I would have been able to get his 15 uh, character shards, which I end up not getting because of an update that changed the, um, the login calendar, and then I didn't get those shards, that would have been nice if I would have gotten those 15 shards a week earlier to unlock Loki sooner. But, considering Mantis isn't a heavily powerful character, of course I was going to get those shards early, right? Of course. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, this game. God, I am just on my... Yeah. Oh. The loath of this game is real. The loath of this game. Oh. I, I have just been holding that in all day long. Since after playing this last time of a recording and then uh, while after I was just, hey, I'm just going to play this game. And then I got that freaking, um, I just got that, uh, that premium orb. I'm like, I'm hoping for either War Machine or Groot or something substantial that I can add. Wow, I got two pulls. Three? No. Only two pulls. Wow. And you wonder why it takes so long for uh, me to get any progress in this game. I'm surprised to actually have gotten two pulls of Captain America. Normally I would get zero or one. <laughs> But I shouldn't be sad about that, right? At least I'm at least I'm getting something. Right? I shouldn't be mad at that at all. I should be proud about that poll. I should be proud. I should be proud to be a, a a Marvel Strike Force player right now, getting that kind of poll. Oh yeah, um there was a video that I said earlier before, and I'll 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 get to that uh, after right after I unlock this orb, uh, cause I'll I'll give you the um. All right, Mystique, one one shard. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, just I guess mutant mutant shards. All right, cool. Um, so realistically. Adamantly, I will say I'm a person that uh, should not know nothing about this game because I haven't played it um, since since the beginning of it, all the way through from beta and what have you. I should not know. I honestly should not know uh, exact to the number of things I'm going to be getting correct. I should not know exactly. <laughs> With me being an unexperienced player, exactly where things are going to fall. If you look at a video that I said prior talking about this event, more than likely the Star-Lord um, video where I talked about upcoming events, I had mentioned that like more than likely I'm probably going to get 50 uh, Star-Lord shards and then I'll probably be like, I'll be done and what have you. This should not be uh, something that I should have been able to scout out. 
because I am not, <clears throat> excuse me, I am not familiar with how everything should go. And you know what? It's very strange when, whoops, it's very strange when you're a not really experienced character and 45 character shards. Calling that out, I was five away. Just like um, when I called out the Falcon Orb, uh, how many exact character shards that I was going to get, I was one number off. Like, basically, 50 was basically the right guess. And, yeah. How I could call this thing, these things out exactly without being aware of anything at all in this game is miraculous. This game has been so predictable that even a person can call things out to the exact number pretty much, and get it correct. How predictable can this game really be? <laughs> I ask you, because I can predict everything, and it goes the way it goes. God, I am a fortune teller. God, who is going to win the next Super Bowl or World Series? I should be freaking calling that out like a mother trucker right now because god dang I would be a billionaire with how frequently <laughs> I can call things out to the exact number. Man, call me now for your not free reading because I'm poor. I'll charge you five bucks and you'll get a reading. And it'll probably be dead set on. Because god dang, how frequently have I called out things and they have miraculously happened. Yeah, I can probably only be able to count it on one hand how frequently that kind of things have happened. But I still can do it, nonetheless. So yeah, like realistically... I'm going to come on here and basically, for the most of the point, do my daily objectives. You want to know why? Because, realistically, I could have done this beforehand, but I just, I just don't care at this point, at this game. It's a shame that, like, realistically, I, I just, I don't like this game enough to really do prep time before coming into these videos. That's, that's the sad point of it, is that I just, I am so frustrated with this that it just makes me want to go and watch a film, makes me want to go and um, do something else <laughs> rather than sit here and crunch numbers out and auto-win things robotically just so that way I can say, oh, I played this game for an hour before I came in here. I, to have said at any episode that, like, man, like, any previous ep episode where anyone could say that I was angry or whatever at the game, that's not even close to how I feel about it right now. <laughs> not even close. I'm honestly very much holding back what what I'd really love to just say into the ether of things, because I am just... Is there any more psychic things that I can freaking call out to you? <laughs> Is there any more psychic predictions that I can make in this game? God...
if anything, I apologize if people were going to come in here and watch me do some Star-Lord stuff. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. When I probably still won't have this team set up any higher to where it was. Because I will have completely forgotten about them. Because if you don't grind them now, you'll never get to grind them ever again. <laughs> That's the thing, you get tied up with so many things that realistically you cannot prep your characters for anything. Freaking man, I should have spent more time grinding for my martial artist characters to set up for Psylocke because I knew, like, my martial artists weren't anywhere. Rather than spending time so much so with what little I was doing, grinding up Guardians and Ravenger characters, even though knowing there was there would be no way I could grind in time to get Star-Lord. That's the thing. They that's that's where they pigeonhole you to basically just go, oh well people are gonna buy um buy all these characters. Because we're going to give them absolutely no prep time. And that's just going to frustrate them into buying these characters. We're going to give them Donatol's worth of prep time. Forcing them to buy these characters so that way they can get into the Star-Lord event. Or the legendary Star-Lord, yeah, thing, event. God, what freaking robbery <laughs> that this game just, like, gives you. It, like, forces you to pay, otherwise you don't play. Because it doesn't want to give you a month of prep time to let you know, oh, okay, hey, just a heads up, you're going to need these characters in about a month from now, so make sure you're really, uh, because it's going to take a super long time to be able to grind these characters because it doesn't want to give you any kind of prep time whatsoever on anything. I, yeah. It doesn't want to give you prep time. It doesn't want to give you, um... It doesn't want to give you a chance to be able to get at least four out of five pulls in Character Shard campaign missions. It's going out of its way to stall your progress at every point. Every point. I would love to get from the developers right here today. I would love to have them send me an email saying, you know what, I'm like, I realize that this is happening, and you know what, I wanna, I wanna say that I apologize for what this game has done. Because yes, I realize now since this video that you put out that um, we have been putting, we have been giving an unfair advantage to our players. Thankfully, I needed to see this video to show people <laughs> that we are giving an unfair advantage to our players. Or an unfair unadvantage. Letting them know a month beforehand. Hey, yeah, yeah, guys. Freaking piddly things like, oh, yeah, well, hey, guys, you can get two times the shards for certain characters. But you only get that for, what, uh, a day or two? Unbelievable. I'm gonna speed this up. Guys, just... I only say these things so I actually care. I actually care. But, like, when somebody's freaking sitting there, it's like, oh yeah, I wanna... How much more money can we get today? Freaking, I just... I, uh, saw because I had to re, um... Reinstall this game because I don't have enough storage to really, uh, keep this game frequently on my phone. 
uh, I looked and re-downloaded this game, and this game is n the number one grossing game right now. I'm like, man, if you would think that this game would make a whole lot of cash -ola, you would think that they would just be like, man, we're going to get stuff away for free. Because why do they need to make so much more money? There's always a loophole. There's always a thing to grind to. There's never just, oh, we're just going to give you this. Oh, no. Why would someone want to do that? No, no, you're, you're not going to get anything for free. No, not in this game. You always have to grind for something. Yeah, people can say it's like, well, like... You can get stuff for just, like, uh, opening up your game every day. Like, how is that not free? Like, realistically, you still have to put in the work to open up your game. <laughs> how is that for free? <laughs> And most of the things that provided is basically just like something that it doesn't matter anyways. Always angry. Sounds familiar. I'm, I'm speechless at this point. Not to say that, though. Or this. Or, or this right now. But yeah. This game has just... Ripped out my heart. And just like... Hey, yeah, you were a comic book fan? Well... <laughs> This is not the game for you. Just... Huh, I just, I just want to auto-win all these. I just... Just auto-win everything. Just... It does it, does it matter at this point? Just does it, does it, does it really, does it really matter? Does anything in this game really matter? Because it's, it's going out of its way to not give you anything. In the world of this game. I honestly don't want to say this stuff because realistically. Some some person that might like this game or some person that might um, be a person that owns some kind of um, statue whatever thing in this. The stake of this game is just like, oh no, you said some hurtful things and what have you uh, and somebody might come on here and just dislike it dislike the video just because I'm saying stuff honestly and openly but honestly I say these things just so that way the game can effing change I am sick of the way things are put up here and I'm sick and have been for a very long time about how I mention something and I say hey I'm getting butts on my uh, my my camera screens can you guys change that another update comes butts and screens <laughs> it's just you this game is a giant waste I think after July, I'm probably going to go and probably do, uh, future fight sounds good. I, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to do battle lines. I, I guess I'll just go and dip into future fight and I'm not going to no longer do this. So I feel so strongly about things and I feel so... Like, 
my whole day rides on this game, to be brutally honest. Like, whatever happens in this game, like, just... All right! Freaking Miss Marvel shards. Good. I've been asking for the last couple days about Miss Marvel, because realistically, all I needed was four shards to be able to rank her up. Too bad it's not a Guardians of the Galaxy member, but... I will take what I can get. At least it's not Mantis. Who gives a rip about Mantis? Electra! Sure, alright. Yeah! Woo! We can we can rank up Miss Marvel. That's 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 so great. So great. Yeah. It's, it's it's just it's just too sweet. It just really is. Yeah. Nine hundred. Oh my gosh. Ha! Yeah. And I'm almost halfway to ranking her up again. Can you believe that, folks? Can you believe it? I would, I would have liked to have gotten a Daredevil uh, pull, or maybe possibly a, a Groot pull, but I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with Miss Marvel. I can be fine about that. Not bitter at all. See how many group shards we can get today. I only need five. Am I going to get three pulls of the Groot campaign? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. I better get three pulls. Better get three pulls. Give me three pulls today. Oh, there's one. Oh my god. Oh. Nothing. Oh, there's two. Everyone hold on to your horses now. I have two pulls left. Yeah. Huh? Nothing. No. Don't let it happen like this. Not like this. And three. I need one freaking Groot shard. Because it only gives two pulls out of five. All I need is one freaking Groot shard. You guys couldn't give me that one? Couldn't give me a mulligan on that one. You couldn't. You just couldn't. Just couldn't dare to give me a mulligan on that. Give me a mully. Give me a big old fat mully on that one. I'm saddened by that. You couldn't give me a big fat mully. Again. Sad. I'm sad now. <sighs> but hey. Get more power cores, because I have 613 right now. I should see uh, what they're giving away for power cores uh, for character shards. Maybe they have Groot on there. Because <laughs> more than likely, that's the character I need. Oh my gosh, Scientist Supreme. I gotta blow 450 power orbs on Scientist Supreme. He sounds like a taco to me. Yeah, there's just I I'm I'm excited. Oh yeah, by the way, I grinded up uh to 900 uh raid credits. And you know what? I just spent it on the raid orb. I just spent it on 
Uh, I'll show you guys. I'll, I spent it on the 900 raid orb, and I ended up going through there, and I hit it, and I just got a whole bunch of nobodies. <laughs> I got um, the healer for the Ravengers. I got one of the shield guys and some other nobody. Realistically, what I would say now is realistically never do a orb of any kind that depends on power cores or probably credits. Realistically, it won't pay out very well, and it's a, and it's an extremely small percentage that you're going to be able to get the characters that you actually really want or need or what have you. It looks to be a good payout, but in the end, the percentages are super small to be able to get the one character that you want and what have you. Um, I think I'm just going to go with a guaranteed bet now and grind till my eyeballs fall out uh, to for raids just so that we can get 1,400 points so I can unlock a guaranteed character instead of spending orb things and just probably getting nowhere anyways. Because that's where this game is going on and on forever about basically not wanting to give you anything anytime ever. Batman Forever, that's for realsies. Dang it, I hit my frickin' player profile. Or old Strike Force, better get on that. I don't know how many times I've hit my player profile by accident. I said that since the dawning of time. The dawning of time with this game. All right, it looks like I want to equip gear, but realistically, there's not much to be able to equip. Equip, a real equip. I think I'll just train one of these guys. Train one of the guys, get the thing. Two, yeah. So I can do two birds, one stone here. Uh, I should check to see where, uh... 24... And he's at 23 right now. Should be easy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, I can do two birds, one stone right here. I can get a credit for leveling him up. And then on top of that, I can get the piece, two birds, one stone. How much time am I saving today? <laughs> more than likely, I might have to end this episode soon. Uh, more than likely, I'll probably just do another Marvel Strike Force episode where I'm probably just... Um, grinding, um, grinding to get through the blitz. Uh, I think because of how many power cores I have right now, I'm just gonna blow it on, <clears throat> excuse me, a second attempt through this, uh, just so I can unlock Groot because F it. I have 613 power cores. What adds at this point? I'm just kind of like, just give me the character at this point. Just give me the character. <clears throat> just... Alright, I leveled up to 59. Oh, that means I uh, can do some red orbs. Because that's an achievement. Give me one pull. <laughs> Give me one pull. Oh my god! 
F it, we're spending the other 50. Yeah, sure. Five pulls and I couldn't even get one. Yeah, we're done. Great. Awesome. Finally. Three stars. All right. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to call this a wrap. Um, more than likely, if I do a second video today, I am going to show you guys probably... Uh, more than likely, I probably will. I'll just do uh, Blitz and what have you. Um, when I come back onto that episode, I'm going to show you guys that I beefed up Groot to wherever I could. Yeah, just... This episode is just... Yeah, so I'm going to say goodbye. Bye, everybody, because, yeah, if I try to go under uh, over 40 minutes, this my phone just craps out. So without a doubt, I'm going to wrap this up. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone.